Hello guys, today we will configure HP Procurve 261024 port PoE switch. We already created VLAN in our Microtik router board, so first we will give this switch uplink with Microtik. Our LAN network is configured on port 2, so we will connect it. We will connect it in our HP switch port 1. Now we will configure HP switch so it can access the VLAN internet which we created in Microtik. So let's go to the computer screen. So I am on my computer. First, I will check the Microtik interface. So here you see, our VLAN network is created and running on Microtik port 2. VLAN ID is 210. Now we will configure our HP switch. Open PuTTY and select Serial and click Open. So make sure you connected your HP switch with console wire. You see the command line interface of my HP switch. First, we will check is there configuration already on my switch. So we will type command shconf. It will show you all the configuration in the switch. Right now, there is no configuration. So we will start from scratch. So first go to configuration terminal, type conf t, then we will create VLAN. We will give the name of the VLAN with this simple command. Type name space, name the VLAN, we are giving the name testing. Then type, tagged one, uplink is connecting in our HP switch port one. If you have multiple VLANs and you want these VLANs to be able to communicate between switches, you would tag the ports connecting the switches for these VLANs. Tagged ports are used for inter-switch connections. So our port one tagged, we will configure the other ports so we can access the internet in our computer. So type command untagged and ports 10 to 20. We will connect our PC or printer in any of these ports starting from 10 port, so we will access internet on those ports. Untagged ports are typically used for devices like computers, printers, and other end-user devices. So we have connect this PC with HP switch. Now we will check if we get IP address in our computer. So we will disable our LAN card interface and enable it it will restart our LAN interface. Now we check if we get IP address from my VLAN network. Here you see, I get IP address from my VLAN network, so it means our computer is successfully connected with our VLAN network. So that's it for today video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.